welcome back to my channel if you are returning and clicking on another one of my videos but if you are new hello welcome please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below i would love it if you would join my little family here on youtube <laughs> i do post every monday wednesday and friday but just in case make sure to turn those bell notifications on just so that you don't miss any of my videos so now for today the reason they clicked on this video i will be doing a first impression slash review on the new nyx born to glow radiant concealer <laughs> and honestly when i seen this i was like i have to get my hands on it the radiant was just kind of like girl get me <laughs> like pick me pick me but yeah anyways so i i was super super excited to try it out especially because it is a radiant concealer i don't want to talk too much about it because i did give you guys a little review at the very end so make sure to stay tuned for that so that you guys can see exactly how i feel about it but yeah so i really hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you would like to see my first impression slash review on the nyx born to glow radiant concealer then make sure to keep on watching Alrighty guys, sé que me vieron un poco loquita, pero please don't judge me. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do, I literally just did my foundation off of camera because, well, I just did. <laughs> but just in case any of you guys are wondering, um, I did use the Rimmel Lasty Finish 25 hour breathable foundation say that 10 times fast go <laughs> but yeah it's from rimmel i actually did do a video on this if i'm not mistaken make sure to link it down in the description below so that you guys can go and check that out but it has been literally my new obsession and i'm in the shade true ivory 103 but yeah anyways enough of that <laughs> for the start of the show um oh yeah and really quick i am doing a video on this eyeshadow makeup look if uh that video does go up before this one then i'll make sure to link it down in the description box below so that you guys can go ahead and check it out i feel like i look crazy but you know we're just gonna move past that okay we're friends here <laughs> i've already put my foundation on and i'm gonna go straight into the nyx born to glow radiant concealer this is actually one of their new concealers when i picked it up um i was like super super excited because it's like a radiant one and my under eyes need a little bit of hydration and radi i was gonna say radiation um like no ma'am <laughs> no thank you but yeah, so when I seen this one, I was super, super excited to try it out. I'm gonna go straight into this. My under eye bags look crazy, so let's hope this thing covers it up. I did end up getting it in the shade Light Ivory, and this is what it looks like. Hopefully this is my shade. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's the little applicator. Um, I have used concealers that have little applicators like this, so I'm not completely mad at it. I'm hoping this isn't like a little too dark for me, but we shall see. So it comes out like this. I think you guys can see the thing there. And I'm just literally going to just go straight in with this. Oh my. Okay. I don't know. Is that like too much already? Okay, let's just like set it down and then we'll come back to it after we finish blending it to see if we need more. I'm honestly not mad at this color at all. I love peachy concealers just because it does like counteract with the darkness on the under eye. Okay. Wow, it actually looks really nice. I am just going to go in with just a little bit more in like this area right here. It actually blended out really beautifully. I mean, can you tell? <laughs> but I think this is actually um, a perfect shade so I think this works for me the areas that I would normally looks so beautiful I can see where it is you know being glowy like you guys can see which I mean, my foundation gives me that glow, but 
this concealer girl <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and we can chit chat a little bit how everything like is settling on my skin and I can kind of go over exactly how I feel about the product Alrighty guys, so this is going to be the end of this video. <laughs> so I did go ahead and do the rest of my face off of camera because obviously this is more about the concealer than anything else. <laughs> so I did mention the last part that the last clip that you guys did see, I was putting on the concealer and all the places that I would normally conceal. And I just want to start off by saying that it, the color was one perfect. I feel like it just, I'm going to look over here just because I have my mirror over here. <laughs> but yeah, like it's like the perfect color. I didn't I don't feel like I would have to mix any of them just because one of the one of the main reasons why I do mix my concealers is because one I like to get a very peachy concealer so that it can mask up the dark under eyes i mean you guys have seen them they are just a little bit crazy usually i get one concealer for that and then the second concealer that i do get is for brightness i love a bright under eye i love 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 but usually i feel like with a lot of the bright under eye concealers it doesn't mask up that darkness i would normally would like them to so that's why i usually like to get two concealers but with this one honestly i feel like there was perfect once again i did get kind of like a peachy one i don't know if you guys can tell but it does kind of look a little bit peachy in the tube i did use everything that i would normally use just to give it a fair chance but um yeah i actually love the color i love how it went on uh the applicator i was not expecting this type of applicator on this little tube i honestly thought it was just going to be like one of those that you just like squeeze out but i actually really really like this I did not use that sponge to blend anything out because i feel like it was just going to be a mess and it was going to get everywhere and it was just not going to be it so yeah i didn't use that but i don't normally use any applicators to blend out anything either way so definitely not a con for me and also you guys did see when i initially put it on and you guys can still kind of see it um it's giving me like this beautiful like radiating glow and i love that i'm totally okay with it i don't need my under eyes to look very matted and dry that's not something i want so the fact that this one is a radiant concealer just attracted me even more and honestly nyx makeup prices are insanely low and if i do find the price for this i'm gonna add it here so that you guys can see exactly how much it was <laughs> but yeah so definitely definitely worth it if you have not gotten your hands on it if you you've been kind of debating if you want to try it out i would definitely try it out um if you don't like anything like super super glowy under your eye maybe this is just not the one for you obviously i did put uh setting powder and you can honestly put setting powder and just kind of like set it down um i don't think it's going to be like super super glowy but I did notice when I put it on initially it was very very glowy but I'm totally okay with that because I love it <laughs> but yeah so I would say that I am going to definitely recommend this concealer because I honestly think it worked really really well and the color the color was like a super big thing for me um just because I always use two concealers and the fact that I could possibly use only one very very nice so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching and please don't forget to like comment subscribe and make sure to turn those bell notifications on just so that you don't miss any of my videos and i will see you all in the next one